Hello everyone, War Dog here. Today we're going to be taking a look at this sander that we got. Uh, we ordered it off Amazon. It's a 1x30. Okay, so this, you can get a better look at this thing here. You can see the platen. It's got a flat platen right there on the end. Um, it's got a couple small wheels here. And then here's the drive wheel in the back. So if you want to take a belt off, it's very easy to take a belt off. Okay, right there, we just removed the belt. So we want to put the belt back on. Make sure that you have it the direction that it's supposed to go. But you can put it on the platen first and then on the drive wheel. And then what I like to do is keep pressing it down and adjust each wheel individually. Okay, now let's turn our sander on. Let me get this work sharp out of the way. So to turn this on, we'll flip the switch. This is a Tolker, so it's a T-O-O-L-C-K-E-R. And I ordered it from a company called T-King on Amazon. Uh, okay, so that went through a cycle there. If you want to change the direction, on the way the belt's going to go, you're going to hit that S button right there. And so it'll have a little thing light up in the corner. Okay, there, it's off now. And now it's, the light's back on. So that's your direction that you're going to go. Once you get it on, you could turn your, the speed of it is all controlled right here with this little dial. Let me turn it a little bit. So you got the dial on the side here. So very easily turn it on the first time. And this right here will adjust your belt. It's your guide. So turn this on very gently. As slow as it'll go, get your belt lined up with all your wheels and then increase the speed a little bit. Make sure you're staying true and then you can always adjust right here. I'm trying to walk it back over to where it needs to be, okay? That's about right there is where we need to be. Pretty close to there. Okay, so we can see our speed that we're running right here is 700 RPM, is what it is saying there. We'll adjust that up, that's 1,000. 2,100 RPM, 2,000 RPM. Okay, so that shows you how the sander works. I'm going to turn that off for a second and we'll show you some of the features on it. Okay. So right on right here is where the tooling arm connects. So the, how this tooling arm works if you want to pull this platen off. So let's remove our belt, push down on it. Okay, so here's our assembly with our two wheels and it's got the platen on this tooling arm. So if you want to remove it, these have built-in wrenches, these black levers here. And the way they work is you pick it up, pull it out, and then you, you let it drop back in. And when you do that, you can feel it grab a hold of the screw. And so you pull it out again, rotate it around, and let it fall back into place. Okay, now we can pull our tooling arm out. Okay, at this point, what we could do is it comes with this other wheel right here and so for doing like a hollow grind on a or for doing handles or whatever this it's this is a rubber wheel so it, it's going to work great for a lot of things um, basically what's going to happen is this screw that bolt little head right there we're going to pull that out loosen this arm right here and then we'll be able to pull this whole assembly out with the platen 
and then we can put this assembly on. So, this thing also comes with a work table right there. And then we'll show you how to flip the table sideways as well. But I'm going to set this back in here. I'm going to tighten down. Remember to pull this black piece out as you thread. It's got normal threads, clockwise threads. Right, turn it right to tighten. Okay, so we're tightened down on here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this. So I got to go left up to loosen, left, lift up again, let, let it drop back into place. Okay, so I got that loose right there. Now I'm going to unscrew this with the Allen wrench. Okay, rotating this a little bit will, I think will help come out, make it come out of there. So that's what was in there. Okay, so. I'm going to rotate that back and forth and now we're now changing our tooling arm so I'm going to pull this off here's a closer look at how, what that looks like there's the flat pat platen it's one inch wide perfect width okay so we're going to set this down and we're going to put this I believe this is a four inch wheel it's a rubber contact wheel on there so we're going to slide that into place and then we're going to put that screw in there feels like it needs to go in a hair more yep yeah, there it is okay now we're going to tighten the screw down and then we'll tighten this arm afterwards Okay, so once you get it tightened down, then tighten this one. Remember to pick it up, spin it around, grab the screw, pick it up, turn it around. Okay, I can feel it tightening up. Don't over tighten these. Okay, so now we have that on there. So we're going to take our belt. and put it on here okay so what we can see is right now is we it's too loose so we're going to use this arm to slide our tooling arm out okay I actually want to press this down right here to take some tension out so I can get this out pretty far I want to have some tension that's how you adjust your tension now I'm going to tighten this back down. So I'm locking the tooling arm into place by, by rotating that. Okay, now there's still tension. But now we can hollow grind off of this wheel here. So I'm going to turn it on. Let me rotate this over a little bit. Okay, we can see it's ready to go. So I'm going to turn it on very slowly. Make sure that it's not going to walk off the wheel because we just changed our tooling arm. So it's starting to walk off. Now we're going to rotate this piece right here. There's a wheel and you rotate that. So clockwise will bring it to the left. If you go counterclockwise, it'll walk it over to the right. So always remember clockwise, clockwise to bring it to the left. Okay, so now we're pretty centered on there. Let's speed it up a little bit. Okay, we need to bring it back. Okay, it says we're doing about 1200 RPMs right there. Okay, so I'm gonna shut that off. So if you want a hollow grind, that's when you would probably want to use that wheel right here. I like to move my belt sanders around. 
you might be able to get a better view from there it's basically a 1 by 30 on steroids it's a beefed up 1 by 30 it's a uh, pretty professional looking and so far I've been very happy with the quality of it it's made very nice all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to pull that tooling arm back off let me flip it around so you can see this side let me make sure that that's on camera okay so right here we're going to loosen this piece so you can see the arm on there it still had tension on it from the belt so this whole tooling arm just slid back a little bit it might be better to take the belt off when you do it so basically we just freed that up by loosening this piece we just freed up the tooling arm I'm going to take the belt off to be able to do the swap so again we're going to pull the tooling arm out we want to put on our platen here, our flat platen. So, you can see right here that Allen bolt. I want to loosen that up. Actually, we want to pull it out completely because we're going to put it inside of the other, uh, the flat platen. And then this piece, lift, lift up on it turn it set it down and then back it off so I'm loosening it right now I want to take it apart so I went left I picked it up you turn it you let it set back down turn left again okay it feels loose to the touch now so I'm going to try to get the wheel out of the tooling arm I've noticed that it's kind of uh, kind of tough to get out of there let's see okay so that's what it looks like and then here's the tooling arm okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to set down our this four inch contact wheel and we're going to grab our flat platen assembly which is here nice and solid very good construction okay so on the back of it we have that same fitting that was on the other piece so these are going to bond this is going to go in where the four inch contact wheel was mounted so now this is what our tooling arm is going to look like so we'll put it back on we take this the allen bolt and we put it in the hole basically the same way that the four inch contact wheel was set up let's tighten that make sure you're square uh, make sure everything's squared up when you tighten everything down so i'm going to tighten that one i'm going to make sure that that one's tight well okay so now set the allen wrench down and then we want to use this locking wrench assemb uh, assembly that came with so tighten make sure you're square tighten every time you pick up and bring it back around make sure you're square okay all right we're tight so now we want to put this back inside of our 1x30 belt grinder so we go in one thing you're going to want to do is test it with a belt um, always check your belts to so you know which way your belts are running and i recommend combat abrasives so what we're going to do is we're going to set this on here i'm going to push it all the way in and we can't quite get the belt on so we push the tensioner down a little bit and get everything lined up okay now what we're going to want to do is push our tensioner down 
and slide our tooling arm out a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to tighten this bolt with this black arm. Remember, pick it up and spin it, and then I'm going clockwise to tighten. Don't over tighten it, that's good. And then you can always pick it up and turn it and get it out of the way if you want. So now I'm going to release tension. Okay, so now we're back to our flat platen assembly, which is there. So you can see the flat platen if you're knife sharpening or knife making knives or making handles or whatever, you can rub them on the flat platen there to do your sharpening or your grinding. Okay, so now let's look at the, we've looked at the tensioner that's this piece very nice nicely well built here's the drive wheel off the 550 watt it's a sewing machine motor and there's the tooling arm and then you got two wheels on here so we this platen is removable we could pull off this platen out of here take it out change it put a new one put a different style or just totally get rid of it and go slack belt. Or you have the option of going slack belt up in this area. So now let's take a look at the, the work table that comes with it. So you can see these two Allen wrench, these two Allen heads here, let me turn it. Okay, right, right there and right there. That's where this work table is gonna mount so it does it is supplied with this tool here the only tool you really need so i'm going to loosen this take that completely out so same with this one make sure everything's tight on these check them periodically Check all the bolts and everything. Make sure nothing's going to come flying apart. Um, that's a good habit to get into when you're working around machines that have vibrations to them. Sometimes bolts tend to loosen up. I haven't noticed it with this one, but it's just something I know from working with other products that vibrate a lot. Okay, so now we're going to tighten up these bolt heads. As you can see, I can slide this tooling arm in or out. And if I need more, if I need that out more, I could always adjust it back here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide that in as far as it'll go. Now I'm going to tighten this up. Righty tighty. Okay, so this is the work table that we're mounting onto the tooling arm. I'm going to tighten both of these Allen bolts up. Okay, we just tightened up both of these Allen bolts. Right here and right here. So now our work table, this is the arm on it, um, is attached. Okay, so now right here we can adjust and we can see that if we're going to adjust up because we want to sharpen a knife or something or actually we'd want a pretty steep angle for that but as you can see this is adjustable and it's also adjustable this way so it looks like we got it set a little bit too close in for doing adjustments so i'm going to loosen those up a little bit bring the arm out and uh let's try it right here and see how it works here yeah so if you want a work table so I'm going to tighten actually I want to bring that out just a little bit more so there's a little bit more play there okay now I'm going to tighten the arm back up for the work table Okay, now you can see right here how the work table works. Uh, it's adjustable this way, and then it's adjustable in and out. So let's say that we want to flat, we want to work 90 degrees to our belt. So we could bring that in right here. Tighten it down. So now, 
if you're working on a knife and you want to work on the spine or something you can come in at 90 degrees right here working off of this work table also let's say that we want to pull this work ta table off okay that's pretty tight try not to over tighten these just get them snug okay so what I want to do is I want to pull the work table off for a second so now you see how that work table works I'm going to show it to you here's the bolt for it and then there it is just a solid chunk of steel works great so we're going to set that out of the way and then there was another work table included with this kit it's this one so it's got this little peg coming off the corner been welded on there so what we do with this one is we're going to loosen up these bottom allen bolts and we want to rotate the table to the side okay that won't spin yet i got to get this other one there's two of them down there okay once you get those you can rotate this over let me turn it around so you can see Okay, so right down here, we're going to tighten these two Allen bolts now. Okay, just get them snug. Don't over tighten it. Don't break anything. Just snug them down. Okay, now what I wanted to show you was this. It's got this other work table that you mount right here so if you're working on it if you have the grinder on its side and then you put that screw in there the same screw that held the other table that's one thing that's nice about this is all the screws and everything's interchangeable so it makes it real easy to adjust okay so now we have our work table right here so let's just say that we wanted to grind on this. Uh, we were working on a piece of steel. And so we could turn this on and then use that work table to stay perfectly 90 degrees and grind on whatever we need to grind. So our tension, or not our tensioner, but our alignment wheel is underneath at this point. So once you adjust it, turn it on. So get ready to adjust. So now I got my hand underneath and I'm adjusting the belt up because it was starting to walk down just a tiny bit. You just move that a fraction of an inch and then this wheel is gonna ro start rotating like this. Um, you gotta figure out which way you're trying to get it to go. Okay, right now it's coming up so I'm gonna start turning it back the other way. I'm walking it back into place. Okay, so you'll just have to fine tune that when you switch it over, but from this position, let's turn it up a little bit. So from that position, you can grind on a knife. You can make knife handles. But I'm sure everybody kind of wants to see what it looks like uh, on an angle or when it's rotated on its side. So here it is, drive wheel. This one um, keeps your belt in track. And then here's your, your platen up here and then your work table. With your work table, here's the arm for your work table and then the arm for your uh, platen that you got on. So down here, you can, it's got holes in the bottom. You can bolt it down if you want to. Okay, I'm gonna rotate it back up into place. This is War Dog. We're checking out the one by 30 on steroids.
So there's guys that are making knives out of Harbor Freight 1x30s. This is a huge step up from there. Pressed with it. I'm going to show you how easy that table changes out. So we still have our work table arm on here. You just loosen that bolt up, that Allen bolt. Everything's the same size on here. Very nice. So I'm going to pull that work table off. And we're going to put the other work table back on. Okay. So you guys who are into making your own knives, I would recommend getting this. It's it's not very expensive for what you're getting. 